First, it spotted the earliest galaxy ever. Then, get this, it found a supermassive black hole pulling the S out of its galaxy at 4 million miles per hour. Seriously, this has scientists trying to figure it out, scowling at each other to find out what it all means for our perception of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope was sent to see what early galaxies were like. It's been snapping amazing pics of stars dying in galaxies from way back when, similar to a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This black hole thing is really throwing people for a loop. Usually, black holes suck everything in, even light. However, this one is producing new stars as it goes, leaving a trail of baby stars stretching 200,000 light years long. A team from Yale, led by Professor Peter B., wrote about it in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, and Hubble confirmed it, saying the black hole seems to spark new stars when it hits gas and cools it down. Crazy, right? That's not all. NASA just dropped news about a galaxy merger called ARP-220, also caught by the James Webb. The collision of these galaxies is shining super bright in infrared, which is why the James Webb Space Telescope can see it so adeptly similar to a trillion suns bright. The Milky Way is only 10 billion suns. ARP-220 is in the Serpens constellation, about 250 million light years away, combining two spiral galaxies into one 700 million years ago, resulting in a massive burst of star creation. There's a tiny area, only 5,000 light years across, with 200 big star clusters. That area has as much gas as our whole Milky Way. Before radio telescopes, around 100 supernova were observed in that area, and Hubble showed the main galaxies are 1,200 light years apart, each with a ring of stars making a ton of infrared light. The James Webb images now show an unreal view of this galaxy mashup. Even the faintest tails are visible, stretching out, showing the gravity pulling them together. Additionally, there's orange, cyan, and red stuff that is scattered organic material. In another crazy find, researchers found very ancient galaxies way out at the edge of the universe. They weren't sure if they were real and questioned whether they were just closer galaxies pretending to be far away. As a result, they gave the data to other scientists. Turns out, those old galaxies are legit. This telescope is letting us see the oldest known galaxies. Light from these things has been traveling over 13.5 billion years to reach us, thus providing us with a glimpse into the super early universe. Researchers are using them to learn how fast the first galaxies popped up. These galaxies, as shown this is a big deal because it proves the James Webb Space Telescope is capable of what it was built for, examining the beginning of the universe by looking at light that has been traveling for over 13.5 billion years. It can measure insane redshifts to allow it to enter the infrared light and examine the first galaxies. Actually getting people excited because these discoveries could alter our understanding of the universe. NASA has already begun discussing building even stronger telescopes than the James Webb to see if we're right about the Big Bang. Data from the telescope shows that some of these extremely ancient galaxies have crazy redshifts, like they existed only approximately 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, and they don't have a lot of heavy elements such as carbon. Because the universe is about 13.8 billion years old, we may need to reconsider how the early universe worked. Michio Kaku, a physicist, claims that we are made by these old galaxies, examining everything concerning the beginning of the universe. Before, people thought these galaxies were not as well made as the Milky Way, but the findings suggest there's some missing data. So. How are there galaxies that appear to be 10 times as big as the Milky Way, which existed half a billion years after the Big Bang? It takes billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way. Therefore, it's odd to find such large, young galaxies. We might have to rewrite the textbooks. Even with all these questions, NASA says there's a galaxy cluster only 650 million years old after the Big Bang. This cluster is most likely going to grow and turn into something like the Coma Cluster. It's all happening in an area where galaxies are growing fast because of the James Webb Space Telescope, and researchers can measure the speed of these galaxies to verify that they are all grouped together as one unit. NASA is calling these galaxies like drops of water in different rivers that will all join up to make one big river. What we thought we knew about the Big Bang is making sense. 
Maybe the Big Bang did happen, however, the root cause is a different matter. We'll have to wait for more discoveries. We might find out soon. Who knows? Okay, so NASA's James Webb Space Telescope just made some crazy discoveries, leaving astronomers losing their minds. First off, weeks ago, it spotted the oldest galaxy we know of. Now, it discovered a huge black hole hauling away from its galaxy at, get this, four million miles per hour seriously fast. Scientists are rethinking a lot as a result of this, wondering what it all means for how we understand the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope was sent out to check out the first galaxies and it's been sending back mind-blowing pictures of dying stars and galaxies from not long after the Big Bang. This most recent find of a black hole is interfering with our preconceived notions. Black holes typically absorb everything, even light. However, this one is doing the opposite, creating new stars along a trail that stretches for 200,000 light years. Scientists are finding it strange, scratching their heads. A team at Yale just released a report on it, and the entire Hubble telescope confirmed what's going on, saying the black hole seems to be when it hits gas and forms new stars, dries it out. They're seeing the trail it leaves behind. Not only that, but NASA also dropped news about this galactic merger called ARP-220. The James Webb Space Telescope spotted it. Apparently, when the spiral galaxies collide, it shines extremely brightly in the infrared, which is ideal for viewing through the telescope. It is a brightness of a trillion suns. Our own Milky Way only has about 10 billion stars. The constellation of ARP-220 is Serpens, about 250 million light-years away. Of the three closest galaxy collisions to us, it shines the brightest. Around 700 million years ago, two galaxies crashed, causing a huge burst of star creation. This made a really dense area, about 5,000 light years across, packed with 200 big star clusters. This small area has as much gas as the entire Milky Way. Before the invention of radio telescopes, 100 supernova proposals were made in this region. According to Hubble's findings, the two galaxies, approximately 1,200 light-years apart at their cores, have a star-shaped ring that shines in infrared. The James Webb pics show the bizarre merging of these two galaxies. You can even see faint tails stretching out, showing the gravitational pull between them. The colors blue, orange, and red in ARP-220 show organic matter dispersed. And get this, scientists were also stumped when they found really old galaxies at the outer edge of the universe. They weren't sure if they were real or just closer galaxies disguised. As a result, they shared the data, wishing for some responses. Turns out, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed they're real. Now we can see the earliest known galaxies. Astronomers think the light from these galaxies has traveled over 13.5 billion years to reach us, giving us a look way back into the universe's past. These galaxies popped up when the universe was really young, which teaches us how the earliest galaxies formed so rapidly. The data confirms they're super far away, even further than Hubble's vision allowed. This is significant because it demonstrates the James Webb Space Telescope is capable of what it was meant to do, study the early universe by observing light that has traveled for more than 13.5 billion years. It's able to measure extreme redshifts, letting astronomers see in infrared and check out those first galaxies. All of this is altering our perception of the universe and encouraging NASA to construct even better telescopes to determine whether our understanding of the Big Bang is correct. According to the data, four of these galaxies have extreme redshifts, indicating that the telescope perceives them as they were just 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang but without anything heavier such as carbon. The universe is supposed to be 13.8 billion years old. Thus, these galaxies suggest we need to rethink things. This has the scientific community buzzing because these finds contest the existing model of cosmological inflation and Big Bang theory, which still faces some challenges like not fully describing the reason for the Big Bang. 
The James Webb Space Telescope is discovering galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang itself, making us question everything about the universe's inception. According to physicist Michio Kaku, these ancient galaxies are forcing us to reconsider everything we thought we knew. We used to think these galaxies were less developed in comparison to the Milky Way, but new data suggests otherwise. Considering that the telescope discovered six galaxies, formed half a billion years after the Big Bang and up to ten times the size of the Milky Way, makes you wonder if our theories are right. Kaku said it takes billions of years to create a galaxy similar to the Milky Way. So, finding these huge, young galaxies is weird. We might need to rewrite the textbooks on the beginning of the universe. These results shake up what scientists thought they knew about the Big Bang, leaving them at a turning point. Even with all this, NASA recently tweeted about a galaxy cluster that's only 650 million years old after the Big Bang, adding yet another component to the puzzle. Astronomers think this cluster will develop into something similar to the Coma Cluster. It's all happening in a special region where galaxies are changing quickly. The James Webb Space Telescope lets researchers measure the speeds of these seven galaxies, confirming they're all bound together in a protocluster. NASA researchers compared these galaxies to tiny drops of water that will eventually unite in a large river. Basically, what we thought about the Big Bang doesn't make sense. Hopefully, the telescope's additional data will either support or refute the theory. Maybe the Big Bang did happen, but why it happened is the big question right now. We'll have to wait until more information is discovered, but the answer might be closer than we think.